What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films back with another video. Today, I will be talking about three reasons why gear doesn't matter for photography and videography. And as we speak of gear, I'm currently testing out this gear. That's why I'm holding a mic instead of having a mic somewhere else. So just ignore this for a second. I'm using this YouTube video to test audio quality of this mic. But anyhow, three reasons why gear doesn't matter. The first reason gear doesn't matter is that you are a piece of trash. And I get it. Some of you are gonna be like, yo, Vu, that's messed up. Hey, I was once a piece of trash. Still am a bit of trash, of course. You know, it's all a journey. We're trying to be less and less trash, which is exactly what I'm doing. But gear doesn't matter if you're trash, which means you have no idea what you're doing. You know, you picked up a camera, you can't even tell you know if the image is overexposed you can't even tell if the white balance is off you don't even know how to use a gimbal you have no idea how to compose gear doesn't matter if up to this point in your life photography videography imagery whatever doesn't matter to you gear doesn't matter second reason why gear doesn't matter is if you have no choice let's say you are a professional photographer videographer and just budget doesn't allow you to upgrade your gear that is when gear doesn't matter at all you know you just have to do what you got to do with the gear that you have you cannot think about the limitations you have to work around them that's when gear doesn't matter third reason why gear doesn't matter you are at the stage in your journey your career your artistry whatever you want to call it and you cannot tell the difference between, let's say, an upgraded piece of gear versus the old one. For example, you film with the Sony a7 III in 8-bit, let's just say Cine 4 or HLG, and you film uh, Sony a7 S3 and S-Log 3 with color grading, and you cannot tell the difference between the two images without comparing them side by side. Which means immediately upon seeing the image, you can't tell. That is when gear doesn't matter. So the point is, what I'm trying to make to you is those three reasons are complete bullshit because gear does matter. It absolutely matters all the time. Let me explain. When a photographer with an old ass B camera who is professional, who does fantastic work, and you talk to them and you say, hey, you ever thought of upgrading your gear? And they said, no, this camera is completely fine. It does what I need to do. I'm comfortable with it. Even in a situation where this person can get a better camera that could probably speed up his or her workflow, uh, increase the hit rate of their shots in terms of autofocus, whatever, probably get a couple of more stops of dynamic range in you know for uh editing but for this person they are so comfortable with this gear that they have that they know with confidence that they could produce the work that they want to produce and what they expect of themselves and what the client expects of themselves that gear matters and on the other token upgrading the gear matters because this person doesn't know that if they trained a little bit harder with the new gear, they could probably do even better than they're currently doing the current camera they're using. As good as they are, right? I used to think that, right? I used to think, you know, it's all about creativity, all about talent. You give anyone who has a lot of talent with whatever gear, it could be a, a cell phone, and they'll produce better than someone with average talent with like, I don't know, an Ari Alexa or a Red. That may be true. And that's because one person is absolute trash and one person is an amazing filmmaker, amazing photographer, whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is if you take two of the same people, like identical in skill, talent, experience, whatever, and gave one of them the most beastly camera 
and one of them a lesser camera. Of course, the Beastly camera is going to get the better imagery, the better footage, just better overall story. You know, you could even erase like footage and stuff out of the way. The chances are that story will be better as well because they probably had, for example, if they didn't have to worry about pre-production to you know if they don't have to worry about too much other pre-production let's say the camera has bad battery life let's say the camera the older camera overheats let's say the little camera doesn't have as good dynamic range so the other guy who has the bad camera has to spend a lot more time figuring out lighting figuring out diffusion all this stuff to like compensate for dynamic range where i whereas the other guy with the nicer camera could focus his time on actual storyboarding and developing a narrative developing the story and with this newer camera, I could shoot freaking, I don't know, ProRes RAW, RAW, whatever, S-Log3, 10-bit. And I have to worry about all this extra, all the extra stuff, right? Given the same person, the same amount of time with just different gear. And I was telling you the judge because I am, you know, was like this. And I'm probably still like this, right? There's a time when I couldn't tell the difference between like 8-bit and 10-bit. I couldn't tell the difference between uh someone something that shot in log or something that shot in standard and now it's night and day you know before when i used to shoot a7 III and then you know i just color graded hlg3 i thought my footage looked great now when i look back back at it i mean and this is talking about maybe just two years later no i don't like what i did at all but that is important as a filmmaker as a photographer videographer whatever you want to call yourself that you need to notice the shortcomings of your work and figure out how to improve that. And when you stop thinking about that, when you stop noticing if your work could be better or not, that's a problem because you will never be as good as you wanna be or you could be ever. You could be 80 years old, you could have been filming you could have been a filmmaker for 50 years and you're still not as good as you could be because there's always room to be better. That is just simple life, right? And if you close your mind to the point that gear doesn't matter, you are hindering yourself. And I understand there are budget complications. You know, not everyone has a bunch of money to buy stuff. And, you know, there you just have to maximize the gear that you have. But if you have, if you have the means, you know, you have a bunch of clients coming in or whatever. Or if you're a wedding filmmaker, you know, you have a bunch of weddings coming in and you have an opportunity to upgrade your gear. Why not? Why not? And then sometimes it, the gear has to make sense. I know for a fact, if I upgraded to a red, I will probably be trash. You know, and in my opinion, even if I trained how to shoot with the red, I'll still be be trash, depending on what I'm filming. But let's just say, let's just talk about like shooting a wedding, a running gun, right? I filmed that in A7 with A7S3, S Log3, full autofocus, 99% of the day. I capture a bunch of stuff. I know for a fact with the red, I gotta lug this thing around. You know, it might not be the best for gimbal use. I'm gonna have to manual focus. My work is gonna be trash. Sure, sure. There's gonna be some shots that's gonna look nice with, you know, whatever it is that Red has to offer. But I'm telling you right now, I will not be able to shoot with a Red better than my Sony A7S III. Even probably my Sony A7 III, to be quite honest with you. That is just me. Because the same thing happened when I switched to a uh, Fujifilm X-T4 when I was an A7 III shooter. I started using X-T4 because at the time A7S III wasn't out yet. I wanted 4K60, I wanted 10-bit, I wanted to shoot in log. I shot in, in uh, F-log. And I'll tell you right now, my weddings that I shot with the Fuji X-T4 was not much better and my a7 III and in some aspects it was worse because I was missing a lot of shots because of autofocus and I didn't really understand color grading at the time 
So, it's not like my Fujifilm footage, in my opinion, with 10-bit color, F-log and all that stuff, dynamic range, whatever, was looking any better than my a7 III. Uh, it may have in some shots, you know, but the overall film, in my opinion, wasn't better because it was 4K 60 versus 1080 60 of the a7 III. I was just missing too many shots. There was just too many things. There's too many opportunities to miss. And the XC4 was not trustworthy enough on gimbal because I had to work with tapping the screen and double checking focus all the time because it would hunt whatever. <laughs> but I do not want to hear that gear doesn't matter when it comes to this stuff. Okay. I understand at certain levels, maybe, but even as an average videographer, an average photographer, there is always something to be gained using better gear. It might be very minute. It could be barely noticeable, but that gear still matters as little as it does. Go tell the most talented, you know, athlete, you know, basketball player, football wide receiver, soccer player, whatever, and tell them that their talent is the only thing that matters. The cleats they wear don't, okay? Or or the, the, the basketball shoes they wear don't matter, you know? Or the, or even like, you know, the boxer jock they wear while they're playing doesn't matter because it absolutely does matter. You know, tell a wide receiver in football, and for those of you who don't watch American football, wide receiver is a guy who runs and catches the ball or the cornerback the guy who defends you know the guy trying to catch the ball or a running back the guy who holds the football and you know gets handoffs and he also has to catch whatever those gloves matter you know tell him to wear his old gloves tell him to wear the cheap gloves he's going to want to get the best gloves possible and also the gloves that he's most comfortable with same thing with cleats you know these are elite talented athletes who are borderline superhuman and that gear matters to them. Tell Matt Reeves, the guy who shot the Batman, that the gear doesn't matter. Tell him not to use vintage lenses. Tell him not to use vintage lens lenses. You know, tell him not to use anamorphic lenses. Just use whatever lens. Gear doesn't matter. You know, you're talented. You make a great movie. No. He'll tell you to shut the F up and get out of his face. With that said, guys. That is my opinion on gear and if it matters or not. And if you want something to say, just go ahead and comment below. Uh, if it's a dumb comment, I won't respond. If it's a good comment, I surely will respond. Subscribe to the channel if you like straight up content. And till next time, lighten up. Hey man, you have a big gut problem. Yeah, gas prices are pretty high these days. No man. I talk about the gear acquisition syndrome. Hey, just trying to keep up with the times, you know. If the camera has good specs and it works for me, I'll get it. You buy too much new gear. Gear, it don't matter. Then why do you shoot Canon instead of something else? That because Canon have the bad color shine. Well, then gear does matter. That different. You buy new gear because you are trapped. The new gear don't make you not track. Whatever, man. You're always walking around like you're the best. Let me show you. Bro, actually, don't show me anything. I think you have the gas problem. It smells like straight up rotten eggs and fish sauce up in here.